we are now in the beginning of our Consecration Sunday uh, uh, time period, which is the 7th of May. I'm going to ask uh, Brian Cleland to come up. He's going to share some information with you, and you want to get your bulletins out because there'll be some stuff in there for you to look at. Brian? Thank you. Good morning. Hey, he had my kids last night, so I slept great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I am indeed Brian Cleland, uh, and it is, in fact, not May the 7th today. Uh, but May the 7th is a very big day. As you've heard a lot about, I'm sure you know that this is our consecration event coming up on the May 7th. So uh, I want to point your attention to a couple of things. First and foremost, as a part of that Consecration Sunday, we're doing several things. We're having a stewardship fair, which is a very big deal, very good opportunity to come and see um, how we are being stewards of the dollar and how we are moving forward and stepping forward as the body of Christ every day in this church. Um, in addition to that, we have meals that are being provided for our Consecration Sunday, both in the middle, in between services, and right after the service. So if I could point your attention to the bulletin, please take the opportunity right now to fill out a reservation card. We want everyone to attend, but in order to plan appropriately, we need to know who's coming. So please take the opportunity to fill out the reservation card, pass it to the middle of the aisles, and the ushers will come gather those up as I'm talking this morning. All right, so our stewardship campaign um, is all about stepping forward and taking steps as the body of Christ. So what we have today is a small presentation that just discusses um, all the different steps that are taken throughout this congregation um, to put Christ first. As you can see, we have approximately 256 giving units in this church, and that could be individuals or households. We refer to them as units, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. And there's a variety of different steps that we, can ta that we are taking and that we can continue to take forward together. So we're going to break this down a little bit more. Um, currently, we have 82 units that are giving at the level of up to $3 per week. Now, just to put this in context, um, to take a step forward from that current step would be the equivalent of a delicious uh, McBreakfast sandwich. Okay? We also have 33 units that are giving between 3 and 10. And this one, for me, this is my daily coffee at Speedway. Despite the fact that your seventh cup is free, it still adds up to about $10 a week for me. Um, and we have 33 units giving at that level. 22 units giving between $10 and $20 per week. 25 units between $20 and $30. 17 units between $30 and $40. Now, another example, this... Uh, with a family of four, for me, this is a, a dinner out on a Friday evening. Four units giving between 40 and 50. And that's a round of golf at Beaver Creek Golf Course at the twilighted, discounted rate, of course. <laughs> 16 units between 50 and 70. 44 units between 70 and 200. And 12 units, 200 or more per week. Okay, so, but the point of today's presentation is not just to talk about where we're at, but again, to talk about taking steps forward as the body of Christ, to put Christ first. Um, so this is another way to look at it. This is a weekly income chart. If you're on a personal journey, perhaps to step towards a tithe, this can give you some indications of where we're at. We'll use an average weekly income of about $1,000. Um, if you were giving at the level of, let's say, $60 a week, you can see where that would fall as you step forward on your journey towards a tithe and beyond. So that's just a little different way to look at it. But the message really today is, again, not about where we're at individually, but about where we're going. Um, so let me use an example here today. So there's 256 units. If we were all today to give three dollars more per week what we're, from what we're already giving. That's three dollars a week, a delicious McBreakfast sandwich. Twelve dollars a month, hundred and forty-four dollars a year. Which individually can vary. It may, it may sound like a lot, it may not sound like much. But if all 256 of us take that step together, that's thirty-seven thousand dollars a year. 
So to the individual, it's a sandwich. But to the body of Christ, to this body of Christ, that could be a staff position. That could be thousands of meals served on a Wednesday night. That could be instruments for the band that you heard at Easter last week. That could be costumes for a children's pageant. That's today's message. Today's message and this message moving forward into our consecration event is about taking steps together as the body of Christ, seeking Christ first. And how even seemingly the smallest step can make a huge difference if we do it together as the body of Christ. So I'm not just generally asking that you all give $3 more per week. What I'm asking is this. Number one, please come to the consecration events. Come to the stewardship fair on Consecration Sunday, May 7th, and see the amazing ministries that are happening in this building. And let us know that you're doing so by filling out your reservation card and passing it through to the ushers. And second, I'm saying, regardless of where you're at on this step journey, thank you for your generosity. And finally, I'm saying, I would ask for you to please, today and in the coming weeks leading up to Consecration Sunday, please prayerfully consider where you're at on these charts that we've looked at today. And prayerfully consider taking even one step forward from whatever step you're at. Because even though that step may seem small to one, if we take those steps together to seek Christ first as abiding Christ, we can make an incredible impact. Thank you very much.